Hey everybody, Alex here, healthhacksreviewed.com. Uh, so, you know, this video is about how confusing reviews and comparisons can be uh, with multiple PEMF devices. And so I just wanted to kind of briefly touch on a few points here, uh, specifically about um, two pretty popular PEMF devices in terms of what pops up on the internet. Um, and also just a couple devices that are maybe one of the better sellers out there in terms of residential home users. Uh, now the Beamer, the Beamer um, is actually, there are more users worldwide. There's about over a million at this point. Um, and by the way, uh, so one, one confusing thing here immediately uh, between the IMRS 2000 um, versus the uh, Beamer. And by the way, they put in parentheses here, the new Beamer 3000. Um, so this is actually a comparison with a with actually the older version of the Beamer, uh, not the newer version. So in other words, um, on this website per se, they they just have an old review. Okay, so watch out for that. Always make sure that when you're seeing reviews between PMFs that they're using the latest models. But I'm still going to go over this anyways, and these two in particular, but specifically touching on um, the confusion that people have with the Beamer. Uh, especially in comparison with the IMRS. This is a common comparison, and there's a lot of disinformation put out there. So uh, now my person, so the, the main conclusion here is that these really are two very unique uh, types of PEMF devices, okay? They're two different pieces of equipment. In other words, if you're hoping to make an apples to apples comparison, it's not going to happen, okay? Uh, when you see a review with a Beamer versus an IMRS, or a Beamer versus an MAS, or a Beamer versus whatever, it is not an apples to apples comparison. So don't think, don't believe for a second there's the, this is better than this, you know, function for this, blah, 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 line of logic or arg argument. Okay, so let's roll into it right now. Okay, so here we are, earth frequencies. Okay, what do they mean by that? They're talking about using Schumann harmonics. Okay, yes, this is a very technical category. You can look up Schumann harmonics. Okay, but basically their frequencies or harmonics that come from the earth normally have been measured and regulate all sorts of biorhythms and growth cycles, et cetera, et cetera. That's actually quite common, earth frequencies, Schumann frequencies, in generally a lot of different PEMF devices, okay? Um, so here we go, biorhythm clock. All right, so, well, that sounds pretty sophisticated and interesting. All right. Well, they're, what they're really talking about here, the biorhythm clock, um, four settings based off biorhythms, 5.5, 5.5, 15. Okay, so this is in relation to the Schumann harmonics. Um, now keep in mind that a lot of other devices, first off, have that, so it's not unique uh, to the IMRS. And Schumann harmonics have, by the way, been studied for decades. So that is one reason um, that a lot of different PMFs actually have some efficacy. The cheap ones, the really expensive ones, is because of those. Um, I think they are helpful, for sure. It's nice to see that in a PMF device. Um, but my only point here is, you know, we have this big, you know, ugly-looking red X over here in the Beamer column. The fact that it doesn't have a biorhythm clock is done purposely. <laughs> you know, it's funny. The way that they do this review or talk about it, it's like, this is a negative. It's not a negative. It's just simply that this is not what the Beamer is focused on offering. It's not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, okay? So wh what is the Beamer focusing on? It's focusing on signals and frequencies, okay? That uh, And here's some of them right here, 10 hertz and 33 hertz. This is an oversimplistic explanation, by the way. If anybody contacts me, I can provide a much more detailed information on these two uh, of what their, their signal is actually quite unique. Um, but either way, uh, so it's focused on signals that are going to be uh, mainly stimulating vasomotion in the body and microcirculation, okay? So putting a biorhythm clock, these biorhythm frequencies, that was not a part of the research that Beamer used, okay, to make their device. It's not the goal of the device. The goal is microcirculation and vasomotion, improving it, okay? If they had a long laundry list of other theoretical things they wanted to improve, maybe they would have thrown in a biorhythm clock, is my only point. 
higher intensity pain. Uh, okay, you know it. I would say that that's that's generally true. Um, with the IRMS, it's it's kind of hit or miss. A lot of PMFs are kind of hit or miss with um, helping with pain. Although I would say that more PMFs tend to help with pain. When it comes to a lot of other conditions, they can be kind of, you know, 60% of them work, 60% don't, 40%, you know, you're never really quite sure. And it also depends on the person. Um, but what can you be sure about? This brings us to a good point is, while a lot of PMFs do help with pain, okay, um, what we what which one are we actually going to be more confident with when it comes to seeing various different cases well i would be confident with the device that's the only pmf device that's got an fda clearance class one and soon to have class two clearance looks like things are on track for this end of this year and patented signals patented international signals why because they've proven efficacy for different conditions. They've proven it and gotten the certifications and the patents. They did not. Okay, so in other words, in order to prove something like that, they have to meet certain requirements of X amount of people, with X conditions, you know, are going to see some sort of st st statistical higher enough uh, correlation and improvement and then thereby are granted certain things. Okay, like clearances. And so sensitivity setting, let's roll into this one really quick here. Basically what they're saying, which is complete BS, um, <laughs> is that their actual Tesla, the power that they're delivering, or the intensity okay, of the waves is in a natural range. So in other words, your body runs micro Tesla. Okay? It's a way of measuring magnetics, electromagnetics, and which is which is important and good that we know what that is and I completely agree that we should maybe look for PMF devices that are within that range of what is natural but remember this was an old review number one um, but it was still even inaccurate to compare this with the old model that their intensity settings were unnatural this shows if you actually look at the signal exact of, of what Beamer is offering the actual overall intensity is in micro Tesla so this is this is particularly one area I've noticed they, they specifically lie about. It's complete disinformation. It is in micro Tesla. Okay, that's all that matters. It is within the natural. It's it's literally kind of the same intensity, in other words, as an IMRS. So, but they fail to understand, I guess, <laughs> the actual difference in the signal and how it's delivered, and it is not actually going to super high frequencies or super high intensity. Okay. Um, and I kind of skipped ahead. Um, the uh, the sensitivity is has a little bit to do more with um, uh, what I had just spoken about. What really has more to do with graduated intensity. Okay, um, they don't really need to do that be with the beamer uh, in terms of adjusting intensity level because they already figured out exactly what intensity works best for all people, and that intensity also does not exceed anything abnormal. So they're not exceeding anything that the body isn't normally on an everyday basis conducting through the nervous system to make physiological changes. So that's why people don't have an issue because they're sticking right within normal biological parameters. Okay, So they don't need to graduate. It is, sounds fancy, but it's just unneeded. You don't need to play around with that as long as you're staying within this field. There's plenty of other PMF devices that go way more intense. And, and that, that would actually be very useful. Let's kind of adjust down some of those really intense PMF units, right? Well, that would make sense. But they're just already in those parameters and on a fixed setting. So there's no need for this. On a sensitivity setting, um, this is also something where they're playing around with adjusting frequencies. Again, for the same reasons not required by the Beamer. Um, let's see, pulse, pulsating fields. I, I'm not even. I don't, I'm not even going to get into that. Why they're they're putting a question mark? If anybody, if anybody has any questions, anyways, it is they they are pulsing fields. This 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 is con this column doesn't even make any sense. Okay, sawtooth wave, proven square wave. We've all heard of these different ones, right? There's the sine wave. These different waves uh, that basically is what it looks like. A sawtooth wave goes like this. Okay, square wave makes a little square, dips and valleys making squares. Okay, 
Well, here they are trying to make an apples to apples comparison where they shouldn't be. Okay? The signals are the on the beamer is something patented number 1. It's something unique. It is a combination of many signals rolled into something unique that only the beamer is doing. So to say that it doesn't have a sawtooth wave, yeah, that's accurate. To say it doesn't have a square wave, that's accurate because beamer, <laughs> beamer didn't want to use that. It's using something different. It's using a very unique uh, mix of signals. It took a long, long time and a lot of money to figure out, okay? Which and ultimately resulted in patented signals, which they don't have. And those patented signals were tied to specific physiological um, results that also resulted in FDA clearances and other medical clearances overseas, proving that those signals actually produce a consistent result in everybody. Switching polarity, light and sound option. Just FYI, there is an applicator for the Beamer um, that does have a red light. It's called the B-Light. So it does use red um, LEDs and can deliver the same information and signal through the light. Uh, they've gotten a lot of great results with skin issues and especially with eye conditions. Um, but either way, uh, so technically there is a light option on this, a light applicator. Um, their light and sound option work differently. But again, this is not an apples to apples comparison. Okay, in other words, the light and sound option that's delivered on the IMRS delivers a lot of different frequencies and programs. And those frequencies and programs are not offered by Beamer. So this is this is this is this is my whole point once again. They're not offering what they're offering. And that's not a negative thing. It's just different. Again, it's like trying to convince you that a banana is better than an apple. It's it's literally that line of logic. It's kind of silly. Okay. Biofeedback. So biofeedback uh, is, is a good thing. Uh, there's a lot of different devices that work on different biofeedback principles. I believe in it. Um, as far as combining biofeedback and PEMF, I, I think it's cool, and I think it does have efficacy. There are other devices that do it, not just the IMRS. Okay, but the Beamer doesn't offer biofeedback because that was not originally something that they, they worked into all of their research. In other words, to achieve the results with microcirculation vasomotion for the Beamer, okay, to get all of the efficacy and to prove it more than almost any other PEMF device in the industry, they, they, they never tested or brought in biofeedback. Again, they're trying to make an apples to apples comparison. It's not in there for a reason because they didn't want to add it in. They didn't want to incorporate it into the research. They don't need it in order to get efficacy with vasomotion and microcirculation. See what I mean? They've already achieved the goals of what they want to achieve with mastering those systems. Okay, Is it a good thing to have? I think biofeedback devices are great. Is it maybe you know, a device that you should add into your practice or at home at some point? Sure. But it depends on what your health goals are. It depends on what your needs are, if you feel like you really, really need it or not. You know, it just depends. That's why people talk and consult with me and call me up anytime. Digital easy upgrade, okay, whatever, uh, database protocols. So here we are again. This is why we don't make comparisons to the Beamer in general with other PMF devices. Some PMF devices, they have a bunch of fancy protocols, you know, like, oh, you have, you know, a migraine. Oh, you know, you have a sprain. Oh, you have this condition. Oh, you have that condition. Okay, so first off, if they could actually prove those conditions, that uh, that they could be treated and get efficacy okay with their device they might actually have had a chance to get some sort of fda clearance for those specific conditions or even have some unique patents around those protocols they don't have any of that okay so first off this is theoretical okay for some people it works for some people it doesn't i'm not saying it doesn't work I'm just pointing out it's just theoretical. So, in other words, they put a lot of these things together, n these protocols, not based off any research. If you find that research, let me know. Okay? And I would just also point out one thing. For the protocol, let's say the programs and the programming of the information that rides on the signal with the uh, Beamer, 
in order to have efficacy with microcirculation of vasomotion, okay, if we could say it's, they say it's, let's say it's a protocol for microcirculation of vasomotion, um, that took millions of dollars and a huge amount of research. That's why there's so much, you know, science on it. That's why there's so many studies. I mean, you can, you can follow the paper trail. That was just for two systems in the body. Took them a long time and a lot of money. How long do you think it would take to actually have proven protocols for the large list that some of these devices have, not just the IMRS, so there's other PMAP devices that have all these protocols. How long do you think that would really take? It could take 150 years and hundreds of millions of dollars. So just inquire, did they spend hundreds of millions do of dollars and how long has this device been around? Okay, there was just two things in the body. That's how long that took this company. And they had top researchers in different areas. It takes a long time to figure out how to get consistent results with everybody. Once again, I go back to the FDA clearance, okay? F by the way, FDA registered, where are we here? FDA registered, I don't know what that could went, anyways. Um, FDA registered is IMRS, and FDA clearance is not the same thing. Google it, okay? Oh, here it is. <laughs> so here we are, FDA registered. That's true. But what they don't let you know, they're not going to put number 15 FDA cleared. If it was FDA cleared down here, we would see a checkbox over here and a little ugly X over here in the IMRS column. Okay? Anybody can get a device FDA registered. It's very simple. Send in your application. Pay a little money. To have something 510K cleared as a medical device means you've proven efficacy for a specific condition. And it needs to also meet certain standards of safety and, again, efficacy. All right? So FDA registered doesn't mean anything. All right? And actually, a lot of other PMF devices are registered. Very few are cleared. There might be one other one in the industry. Okay? And then there's the Beamer. Clearance is what you're looking for. Okay. And that is related to protocols, okay? So for example, if this was an FDA cleared device, let's say theoretically, the IMRS, they, I, I, I bet you they would have to change some of these protocols around as in get rid of them. The FDA would have been all over them saying, you know, what, 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 what about all these other things? What, what's going on here? Do you want to prove this or do you want to get rid of it? <laughs> They would they would get rid of it. It takes a lot of time and a lot of money and oh my god, it could take 50 years longer to even go through all those application processes just for all those conditions. It's not easy working with the FDA. Anyways, um, company progressive whatever good value. That's nice. They're patting Beamer on the back for all these things. Um, is the mat comfortable? Mm -hmm. I like this <laughs> I like this column. Excellent in training and support. Okay. Well, you know, they do have cus good customer service, but think about it. They better have good customer service because this device is a lot more complex. There are actually other PMF devices that have lots of programs, lots of functionalities, okay? A lot going on with their interface. And so the, there is a greater learning curve. But I would also tell you that some of these devices have gr the greater learning curves. They're complicated. It takes a while to figure out what works, what doesn't, and some people find out that it doesn't work <laughs> for them. They just can't figure it out. <clears throat> it is very sophisticated. Um, I mean, one thing you could say about a Beamer is in five minutes, you can read the instructions, run your session, and that's pretty much what you're going to do again and again and again. There might be some subtle variations on where you put the applicators, but your session is going to be up just about the same for everybody. That's the type of e efficacy it has. It's going to work on those systems in the body again and again and again. Even if you just lay on the thing, you don't even use the applicators. You just turn the thing on for eight minutes or run one of the other sessions. It's very, very simple to use. It really doesn't require so much training and support. So there's really no learning curve here to get results, which is kind of nice. People like that. Um, and some of these other PMF devices, I'll tell you, they have pretty high return rates. 
I know a lot of people that end up f making their way to the IMRS or the MAS or some of these other devices, a lot of times they've already purchased and tried two to three other devices and returned them. They just keep, because they have a long learning curve, they're a little more complicated. Um, but yeah, they do have good customer service. I mean, again, they better, otherwise their return rate would be higher. You know, they have to help people to get some kind of efficacy with enough support. So these sorts of things on here, I think this is just kind of a general breakdown, kind of useful. The waveform, I mean, it, 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 this is true, it's complex. I can send you the data on it. It's just something extremely unique. But I just want to make one final point here towards the end of this video here um, about the waveform. What makes the Beamer so different, what they found in all the research was it wasn't just the waveform. It wasn't whether it was a sawtooth or a square, okay, or a sinusoidal wave or whatever. It, what, it's not just about the waveform like all these PMFs try to focus on and talk about. It's the information carried on the signal. That is a big difference with the Beamer, okay? I'm not saying the other waves don't have efficacy. And again, I'm not saying other PMFs don't have efficacy. I'm just pointing out that that is actually very different. Again, it's not an apples to apples comparison. We can't say that, that's why, <laughs> that's why you put complex. That's, that's, kind of an, that's kind of a funny way to kind of say, it. yeah, it's definitely complex. There's a lot of complex information riding on the signal, okay? It's not just, you know, it's a sinusoidal wave versus a square wave or versus a sawtooth, like a lot of review sites trying to make you believe. In other words, I'll give you a perfect analogy. If I speak and I say something to you like I am right now, my voice is generally being carried on a sinusoidal wave, okay? But w it more than just a tone, a sinusoidal wave, like I could tone, hum, okay, if you measured that out, it would be a sinusoidal wave. And, and if I was to ask you, what did I just say? You'd just say, I don't know. It was just, mm, there, was, <laughs> there was no information being conveyed. But my presentation to you right now is being carried on a sinusoidal wave, and I'm, I'm conveying to you information in the signal. With that information, it will cause a response in you, some kind of action. You get what I'm saying now? In other words, there's a lot of complex cellular information that tells your body to do certain things, like increase microcirculation and vasomotion by 30% over the next 12 to 16 hours. Do it. That's what the Beamer is saying. What is this saying? What information is being conveyed? I don't know. That's the answer. That's, that's the difference with a lot of P other PMFs. It take, uh, that's what took so long and so much money for this particular PMF device to figure out how you tell the body to do something what kind of information you convey. It's not just the signal. So that's why you can't do an apples to apples comparison. Oh, sinusoidal, oh, oh, square. No, totally different. So stop trying to make comparisons. <laughs> and if this means you get a Beamer and you end up purchasing another PMF device, great. I think maybe you'll even get better and more efficacy, I guess, if you have multiple types of things. But my only point is stop being confused. Treat this as a unique, healing piece of equipment or unique PMF device, okay? So, and eh, cost, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, cost, mm -mm, and um, I think I was going to say one more thing. I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, you know, it wasn't about the, uh, wasn't about the signal or the information. Um, anyways, I'm just going to move in really quick uh, to finalize this video here. Here we are with one of my long videos here, 23 minutes. But thank you for hanging in there. Uh, these are expensive investments, so it's good that I am kind of going through a little bit more of the details here. And again, I would encourage you to reach out to me if you have specific questions about what would be the best devices or brands or PEMF for your particular practice, applications, your health condition at home. Um, and I can guide you to kind of multiple brands, what might be the best. I sell multiple brands, basically. Um, what I want to just quickly show you is um, efficacy. Dr. Klopp is known as the microcirculation expert in the world. Um, I'm just showing you a s small piece, and I can send you all the research on this device that the Beamer has behind, which most companies really have nothing to send you, practically. Okay, so no vasomotion, initial condition. Vasomotion is like the pumping action, okay, by the way, that allows blood to move. Yeah, not looking so good. 
most people have any sort of health condition, minor to major, have this going on to some degree. This is where the body starts to break down at the fundamental levels, and then this gives rise to all sorts of conditions. After a, a Beamer treatment, this is just after a few minutes, during the Beamer treatment, this is with a $25 million microscope developed by Dr. Klopp. He did all kinds of research, okay, not for a Beamer, just on microcirculation. The German government contracted him to do this. He then brought all of his research and information to Beamer, FYI, along with a lot of other research they got from elsewhere. After the treatment, after the Beamer treatment, look at this. It's before and after. And this happens in everybody. That's the thing. That's my whole point here. You want to buy a device that actually gets, produces always the same effects? So here we are before again, and here we are after. In everybody, in everybody, no matter their condition, no matter their age. 30, so this is an eight minute treatment, hardly any white blood cells. Looks like it's the same video. So anyways, these are eight minute treatments, FYI, okay? Clogged capillary. Capil fine capillaries are 74%, okay, of your circulation system. This is really what's responsible for the, the whole lymph immune complexes working, keeping all your cells healthy, not ending up manifesting diseases in minor areas of the body or organs. Everything has to flow. Block what do you do with a blocked capillary? Think about it. <laughs> what else out there has shown specific proof and efficacy to clear a blocked capillary. Look it up. Hardly know of anything that does this. N now I do believe there are a couple other things possibly out there that might work. Do I have proof or efficacy for it like this? No, I do not. $25 million microscope showing what these signals are capable of. Patented and proven. This is not a theory. It's not speculation. These are not protocols that were invented that may or may not work. Here we are in the liver, treating the liver. So this is before, and then they treat the liver with this um, liver for, uh, this is with the old model, by the way. It's been majorly improved in the last five years, FYI. So there we are. Normally you have these, these flows through the liver that go through the body. I don't know if you know that. Looks like a river by comparison now. That's after two weeks of treatment, eight minutes, twice a day. Eight minutes, twice a day. A river. <laughs> Versus this. This is really where health issues start. Oh, I was exposed to toxins. Oh, I was exposed to trauma. Was it the trauma or the toxins that were the issue or the infection? Not really. I mean, they might have been causal, but what really caused the liver issue a lot of times was this, it was an obstructed flow, an obstructed flow. How are you gonna support the liver in clearing or regenerating itself? Nutrient supply, helping it to detox. This is what you want. This would be the start, step one, step one. Because this, this is a re these are the fundamental systems that cause all, that manifest all the symptoms and cause all the issues. This is in the intestines, a lot of people have intestinal issues. Notice the uh, thickening. This is this is actually during a Beamer treatment. Watch this. See this this vessel right here. Watch it thin. This is what is vasomotion. It's the thinning and widening pulse, and it has its own pulse rhythm. Vasomotion as you get older, not even that old, 50 plus, even 40s, you start to lose the ability for vasomotion, the contraction, and every large to small vessel has its own rhythm. Okay. I don't know of any devices. I know of devices that improve microcirculation to a certain extent. They, pr you know, they don't have too much evidence behind them. But, you know, in other words, with vasomotion, which is super important, I actually don't know of, and I've well researched with all kinds of devices. I actually don't know anything that's actually proven before, besides the Beamer, to to actually fix vasomotion. So that's an important point. Vasomotion is crucial for cellular health to properly function. And it's part of the reason that, you know, a 10-year-old is healthier than an 80-year-old. 
vasomotion, microcirculation. Anyway, so we see the widening, and you saw the widening, and then you saw the, saw the thinning out. So again, that's extremely unique, the vasomotion signals. Um, I mean, even a little bit of heat exposure will improve microcirculation. Uh, by what percentage? By the way, all those studies exist. It's not by, by very much, maybe 6%, maybe 5%. To improve 30% and actually prove that, like a beamer, it's very impressive. Keep in mind, then, oh, this reminds me, the last thing I want to touch on this video, okay, thanks for hanging in there, folks, was they don't put it, <laughs> it's funny, they don't put it in this, this uh, comparison of the uh, IMRS, but one thing would be on the physiological um, window of time, how long the physiological level is changed or affected, okay, after a treatment. You could pretty much measure everything this way. If you got laser therapy, and I'm involved with selling lasers, you might see, see a change in microcirculation anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours to four hours for really, really high-powered, expensive lasers, maybe an effect an improvement in microcirculation. What, so they don't put it in that column how long, how long the changes last because it would make the IMRS look not that great. The, the new Beamer model, not the 3000, but has a 12 to 18 hour, and it might not even be 12, it might have been like uh, 15. Either way, it goes up to 18 hours. 12 to 18 is definitely the range. One eight minute treatment, that's how long it affects microcircular and visual motion. That's how long it lasts in the body, how long it's affected. What, what that would look like in this column under the IMRS, it would be anywhere from like one to four hours. One to four hours. That's a big, big difference. That's something that is not talked about much with a variety of devices in general. You know, hey, that's a great therapeutic device over there. Well, how long does it physiologically really affect the body? Do I really have to treat the person every hour? Do I have to treat myself every five hours to get optimal results? <laughs> you know, are there, is there even any studies proving that? Think about that. That's the other thing we always say. Are there even any studies that are going over this? So the Beamer has a ton of studies, tons. I mean, I'll just point out with, unfortunately, the window I closed. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Investigation, pilot studies, case studies, observational studies, conventional studies, and abstract. It's just a huge list. Just a huge list of uh, table of contents on all these different cases. Okay. A lot. This is something you won't see, by the way, with P PMF. I have all this research I can send. Abstract summaries of tons of different clinical studies. Some you can find on PubMed, some you won't. Some I can actually send you copies of. I have it in a big data file. Here's another summary of publications. All kinds of stuff. Multiple sclerosis, vascular therapy. I mean, you name it. Okay, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. You should see some of the neuropathy studies. They're, you, you wouldn't even believe them until you actually saw them. Uh, how good the, how good the results were, how the therapeutic outcomes. Anyways, I'm pointing all this research out to uh, point out that um, you know that has to do with proving the physiological of uh, window of time of how long a, a body is affected. So if you do two eight minute sessions basically um, with a beamer for 24 hours, pretty much your body can be changed, improved to a higher state of function. So if you want to help patients that much faster with less treatments, or if you want to physiologically shift yourself and not have to keep doing repeated treatments with the device for convenience sake or whatever, it's, you, got, you want to seek out devices that affect you for longer periods of time. Okay? So that's another point here that isn't even talked about Okay, because it, just, it would puts, portrays IMRS in a poor light. FYI, the old Beamer used to be pretty similar with how long it physiologically shifts the body, okay, with microcirculation based on motion to the IMRS. We're now at a 12 to 18 hour window. Why the range? Depends on how sick the person is. Depends on how responsive. Everybody's different, okay? So, yeah, some people might be 12. Um, some people might be 18. Some person might be one treatment a day. 
That's with the pad. Okay, that's the pad. The full pad you lay on, that's eight minutes. It does that, okay? When we're talking about the applicators, the focused localized uh, treatment devices, you can actually get even uh, better efficacy in some areas by treating yourself multiple times a day if you need to concentrate on different areas of the body. So those applicators are a little bit different, um, but generally to get those types of efficacy that we see in the results in the 12 to 18 hours, that's just laying on the pad, the whole pad, the body mat, 12 to 18 hours. There is a sleep function, by the way. I don't know why they don't mention it here in the comparison, sleep function. The Beamer has a sleep function. IMRS, I believe, has a sleep function. They're different though. You know, it's not it's none of their apples to apples comparison. It's just they're different sleep functions. They do different things. Okay. So anyways, anybody has any questions about PEMF? Uh, you, or you want to compare it to other types of devices out there? Just let me know. I kind of do it all. Be happy to help. And uh, please reach out to me on my website, healthhacksreview.com. Day or night, you're going to send me an email and be happy to help you.